fortunate I've been to a few uh, Club World Cups and I'll never forget walking into the changing room every time after we were able to get a good result in Morocco in the first year and the doctor said uh, well the, the motto was the bronze is the new goal this is the fourth season now with, with Auckland City and reflecting on the time here I kind of feel like being in my fourth year now I've sort of coming to the end of an, an internship in a, in a way we've had some pretty huge experiences here and I've been very fortunate to be part of that um, I think one of the, the biggest highlights for me was coming into my first year and, and being in Morocco and having that golden, absolutely golden time there. Um, you can't put a price tag on that. Coming from where I came from and then coming into Auckland City a few years ago, I wasn't as experienced as a lot of other coaches. Um, and coming into this environment, I was fortunate enough that I was heavily involved in some of the New Zealand football um, environments and I got to work with some big coaches there uh, with a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and then coming in and working here with uh, Auckland City, Ramon Trebouliage and, and, and the likes of Ivan, it's, I've found it's been a real step up for, for my growth and development as well. Um, the detail and intricacies that we go into here for Auckland City, it's obviously a lot different. We play week in, week out in a league format, whereas in the past we had competitions or tournaments, so the preparation is totally different. But to experience everything, week in, week out, detail, all the intricacies of everything that we do and how we prepare and plan and prep, uh, I feel like it's on another level. I'm very, very fortunate to have uh, a club, a structure and an organisation of, of this calibre operating in New Zealand. There's been many players uh, over my four years that have been here that I've really enjoyed and sort of inspired me in a way. Um, our current goalkeeper at the moment, Enyalt, has been a fantastic uh, person to get to know, but not only off the field, but on the field particularly. Um, being able to work with a goalkeeper of that calibre is incredible. He's a monster. <laughs> um, there are probably two other real standouts for me is Emiliano. Um, for everything that he does off the pitch, his incredible work ethic and professionalism in comparison to what we are. And uh, Mario, Mario Villa. Over the winter seasons I, I worked at Forest Hill, um, taking the women's teams there. I initially started off with the reserves teams and then I had a season with the, the women's premier team. Uh, it was a very mixed group and it was sort of my first season on the job and trying to bring everyone together, but we found some, some great success um, there that year. Uh, we managed to go on and win the New Zealand Women's Knockout Cup, which was a huge achievement for the club and for the players and, and for the team, and I was wrapped with the result. I've sort of been working up my coaching, coaching ranks and, and achieving my badges. Um, and Auckland City has been fantastic for me and helped me, uh, supported me in the journey of getting my A licence. Um, it's, it was a tough challenge. It is a tough challenge getting through the A licence that uh, New Zealand Football and OFC has put on. But I just wanted to say, yeah, thank you to Auckland City uh, for helping me and supporting me through that process and getting me to that stage because years ago I didn't even think I would be able to. I'm planning to head over to the United States. Um, with my fiance, we're moving over there to be a little bit closer to her family and, and looking for some new opportunities in football.